Hi there, Neil from Richter and welcome to another video. Today we've set ourselves a challenge. So Craig's away at the moment. He's pretty much sold everything with wheels on. Um, I'm away at the end of the week on holiday. My daughter's taking a friend. I need something big with some seats. So uh, we've set ourselves a 48 hour challenge. We've taken this standard T6.1 panel van. It's a lovely spec, 204 DSG Highline 4 motion. We've basically got 48 hours, we're going to work into the evening, into tomorrow. The plan is for a full combi conversion and to fit our entire apt kit. So um, by far the most popular kit we do is the apt T6.1. We've done a few um, fitting videos before, but we've never actually done one on a T6.1. So I think this is the perfect time to show you what it's all about. So it's now 11.45, as you can see, we've already made some good progress. Liam's been inside the van, the bulkhead's removed, the ply lining's removed, the main retaining frame from the bulkhead, which is welded in, all that's been ground out, um, ready to do some repairs, um, sealing, that sort of thing. On the other hand, Mark has done the front bumper, so the front bumper's now fitted up with all its nice new um, original grills. He's also fitted up the B-pillar USB sockets and he's starting to do some carpet lining in the meantime. So we'll catch you in another couple of hours, see how we're getting on. So the time is now one o'clock. As you can see behind me, Liam's cut the holes for the main windows. So next thing is to prep these, fit the seals ready for the glass to go in. Uh, also the bulkhead aperture has all been uh, tidied up now. So good progress there. In the meantime, Mark has been doing the carpet lining. We're now gonna grab some lunch. And then in the afternoon, we're gonna start with a seat install. All of the seats we use are genuine VW seats, genuine VW floor, including all of the strengthening underneath, all of the seat belts. So there's no aftermarket parts whatsoever with this install, uh, all fitted in factory locations with factory reinforcers. So we'll catch up again in another couple of hours.
So it's just gone eight o'clock. As you can see, we've made great progress today. First thing you'll see, the entire floor is now in. So floor brackets are fitted. Uh, they've lowered the tank, bolted all that in, all back up and secure underneath. In the meantime, Mark's done the left-hand side of the vehicle on the carpet lining, ready for the panels. Um, as of before, all of the holes are cut out for the windows. Also, we've had Pete here prepping the kit, so all the body kits prepped, ready for the morning. So first thing tomorrow, we're going to start with the suspension. We'll have Mark inside, fitting the cardboard panels um, and the seats. On the outside, we'll start with the lowering, and then finally, we'll uh, later on tomorrow, fit the rest of the kit. So it's now half past eight on day two. As we can see, we're back on it. Um, we just had our morning briefing meeting, which we have every day. Um, yeah, time to finish this van today. So first of all, we've got Mark on the inside, uh, continuing to do the panelling. Pete is gonna continue to prep the kit, ready for the install on the four post ramp, which is later on this afternoon. Uh, we've also got Will and Liam starting the lower end. So on this vehicle, we're fitting B14 suspension, Bilstein B14 front and rear. Also with the apt GR, 20 inch wheels, which is perfect. A couple of things to note on this build. First thing, we've got our new R logo for the uh, indicator blimps. It's the first time we've used this on this demo van. So we've actually had our own R logo lacquered into those indicator blimps, which is an amazing touch. The other thing which a lot of people aren't aware, on the actual crash bar on a panel van is plastic. Uh, whereas on a proper factory combi, they have a metal crash bar. So it's part of the combi conversion. As we're carrying passengers in the rear, we actually upgrade this rear crash beam from plastic to metal as part of our install. So let's give it a couple of hours. We'll catch up uh, later on this morning with an update for you. So the time's now just gone 11. As you can see behind me, some great progress. So first thing you'll see, the windows have been put in. So we've got two front windows. We've also got the fake rear quarter glasses to give it a bit of a caravel look. So they're not physically cut out. They're just bonded on the outside. Mark's continued with the interior. So all of the panels are now in uh, on the boot and the interior. We're just waiting for the ceiling panels to go in. Then we're ready to start putting the seats in the back of the vehicle, finish that off. In the meantime, Will and Liam have been at the front of the vehicle. They've lowered uh, both the front and back and fitted the GR20 wheels. It took a little bit longer because this is a four motion, so we actually have to disconnect the drive shafts on the rear to fit it up. But uh, yeah, good progress on that. We're now ready to come off of the two post ramp onto the four post and start the kit fitting. So time's now one o'clock and time for lunch. As you can see, further progress this morning on the vehicle, ready for the uh, final session this afternoon. Interior's pretty much complete now, so floor's all installed, floor mounting points, 
seat belt mounting points, the final panels are pretty much ready for seats in terms of the interior. External wise, we've now started to fit the kit. So the front grille has been bonded on, uh, bumpers getting prepared, ready to fit as well. So uh, this afternoon, it's a case of finishing off the interior, putting the seats in, side skirts. We've uh, got the crash beam off, ready for the new crash beam. And finally, we'll put the rear bumper and rear wing on later this afternoon. Okay, it's now six o'clock and we are complete. So mission accomplished. Uh, we've actually built this van in basically two working days. We had sort of five or six people on it. Holly's been upstairs doing the seat upholstery while we're doing this. Uh, interior wise, it's all complete. So the seats are now in and installed. Uh, just need to heat the leather in the morning, finish those off. External wise, we're there. So front bumper, rear bumper, side skirts, rear wing are all installed. We've got the new R logos fitted to the side as well. Um, so yeah, basically all we need to do in the morning is detape it, a little bit of tidying up, a little bit of sealing, we're good to go. So yeah, looking forward to the road trip. We're going to take it up to Scotland, hopefully get some nice pictures on those Scottish roads and uh, update you all soon. So as you can see, we've finally made it to Scotland. We've got Inverness in the background over the uh, the water there. The van was absolutely flawless through the journey as we'd expect. So you can see the pure grey against this background is absolutely amazing. So. Uh, yeah, really good job. Well done to the whole team uh, over at Richter. If you like what you see, please subscribe and we'll uh, all catch up in the next video.